posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, 'cause baby. Hey Taurus, it's Purple Haze and I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark days. Okay, I'm happy because I haven't recorded in so long. I miss this, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I don't forget how to kick off the intro. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video, um, Leave a comment down below so that I can feature you guys' comments in the video. I'm going to be doing that from now on. And don't forget to check out the description box down below for goodies and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, We're going to be doing general reading, touching on love, finances, and stuff. And I got some new cards, some new oracle cards for love. We're going to tap into that, and then we're going to see what else we come up with. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay? Okay. Let me change the angle of the um, camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Now. Okay, y'all. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And thank you, ancestors, for all that you do and all that you will do. For every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Tauruses listening to this particular reading. Okay? Taurus! I am in such a good mood, y'all. That's why it's good to take a little break so then you come back and things are just still good. I feel like it's too low, so let me go on and fix this. Okay, that's better. Okay. Okay, um, what'd I say? <laughs> Taurus. Let's see what we got. We're gonna start off with a general reading, see what the cards got to say about Taurus. Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Reverse. Damn, let me take this ring off. Okay, um. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Taurus, it seems as if. Someone who you really, really care about, um, who you keep close to your heart, someone who you admire, okay, probably said something that hurt your feelings, um, kind of gave you the, it might not even be the truth, it could be their truth, but they said it to you in a way that hurt you, um, in a way that, they said it verbally that could have possibly hurt your feelings, but hurt your feelings but it was like i said it was their truth it was coming from them they they probably spoke it out of anger but at the same time i said it it's, it could also not be truth it, the truth it could be their truth five of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles because this person did all of this did all of that talking you and this is probably someone who helped you as well because of that, you feel like, you know what, I don't want to ever need them again, or I don't want to ever ask them for a dime, or I don't want to get to that point where I have to call them for nothing, because you're that mad. It's to the point where you're like, okay, since you feel this way about me, I don't want nothing to do with you as far as help goes, or whatever the case may be. You have the Ace of Pentacles. Because of that, you're going to start being on your shit, as far as life in general, as far as your goals, your job, whatever it is that you're into as far as that's essential or like work-wise, career-wise, you feel like you're not afraid to start over if you have to. You might have a little bit of fear, but not necessarily because you feel like, you know what, in order for me to not need this particular person, let me make sure I don't need them. Let me go and get my own bag or let me go and do this and let me go and do that. Okay, so that's what we got so far as far as the general hmm i got so many readings to do today i don't know where they came from but anyway let's look at let's pull a few more cards so i'm just telling you to pull just a few more and then we're going to jump into the oracle cards okay this one as well yeah and it might it might take a moment it might be a lot on you you might feel like it's a lot on you right now taurus but it's going to be worth it um with the eight of cups here okay with the eight of cups here now you feel like 
you want to go after what you really want. You feel like you've been kind of either settling or you've been dealing with people who might have appreciated you, so to speak. So you feel like, you know what, let me stop wasting my time with stuff that don't matter and focus on what does. Okay? Okay. 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 Now let's do um the Oracle cards here to see what your energy is like as of right now. Um, what is Taurus's energy like from now to the end of April? Wow, we're going towards the end of April already, y'all. What's the energy surrounding Taurus? Any messages you have for Taurus? Okay. Storm warning card in reverse. Yeah. Like I said, you were pissed off. Somebody, basically, it was some drama or something that you have already dealt with or you're about to deal with. Um, but at the same time, you got it in reverse. So, it needed to happen. You got your truth or you feel like you got, you got the truth from them on how they feel about you. But it was needed, okay? Because you're going to be headed down a new journey, journey spiritually. Um... Or it could be in the sense of a new beginning, something new. You're going to, it's like you're now opening the door to freedom. What I mean by that is, usually, you know, people say free spirit, right? Maybe you felt like this person kind of said what they said and they gave you the push to do what you want to do. Um, Be free. And then you have the door to romance as well, okay? So, not sure if this other person who pissed you off... I don't know if you're dealing with them romantically, but um, it seems as if, like I said, this particular situation needed to happen in order for you to get to know what true romance or love may be. Um, you might be in a mood to romance yourself, to treat yourself, get yourself some self-love, or it could be someone who you feel like, you know what, now I know that I don't want to deal with that, let me go after something better. You feel like this particular time you could probably love better because of what you just recently went through, okay? Ooh. This is going by so smoothly. Um, now, I'll be so excited, y'all, to use my new card. Because my other ones, yeah, I needed something more sturdy. Okay, so, let's touch on um, what's going on with you guys as far as uh, love goes. What's your surrounding energy in regards to love? what's at the bottom okay we have miracles in reverse okay miracles in reverse hmm. doubt a lot of you are doubting love a lot um you feel like it's going to take a miracle to get to get you back in that space where you want to love again um this is for those of you who are possibly single or it could be for those of you who are in a relationship and you don't want to be there just because you're with somebody don't mean you you're, you want to be there it could be a delay as to why you're not leaving yet or why they haven't left yet okay physical body okay hold on. E oh eternal for wayne okay so, so me um Taurus, like I said, you feel like when it comes to getting what you want, as far as love goes, you need a miracle. Um, there are some of you who feel like your body needs to be more paid attention to with physical body here. Um, you feel like either you need to pay attention to your body more, Taurus, or you feel like there's someone who needs to be more in tune with your body, if you get what I'm saying, okay? And then you have the eternal flame here, which means you need to... It's like you, you, <laughs> you're willing to face the fact that it's like, although a lot of you are giving up on love, but you also, a lot of you feel like you need some, some, some of that, that good, good. Okay. You feel like you're not willing to turn that down. Love. Yeah. You can wait on that. But as far as like, when it comes to your body, you feel like this person needs to be more in tune with what you want as far as how your body goes. Okay. Um, need to put that fire out if you get my drift okay um let's pull one more card um to take away from this particular reading this chakra archangel gabriel for those of you who are who have been closed off who hasn't been haven't been um open or in tune with your feelings now is the time to speak up okay 
but when I say speak up, I mean communicate. Try to communicate the best way you can, more calmly, without so much confrontation. You can't control how that person perceives what you're saying, receives what you're saying, but you can control how you react to how they're, you know, what they're saying. So you don't have to come at them on defense mode. You could be honest with them and communicate with them without all that rah-rah. And if they give you that rah-rah in return, that's on them. You didn't approach the situation that way. Boom. All right, so... Um, let's go ahead and do you and your person all signs. Y'all know that's my thing. I don't think I was thinking about taking that out, but I think I'm gonna keep that in my videos, okay? And just do other things that are different. All right, let's start off with Taurus and Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you guys. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Taurus. Okay, hold on. Taurus and Taurus. You got two. Okay, perfect. Taurus listening in reverse someone is being very stubborn um not listening not not pay, paying attention to what the person is saying it's one thing to you know stop speaking and just wait for them to finish you got you have to also take in what they're saying and then we have for your Taurus that you're dealing with um we have retreat in reverse yeah so there's someone who's trying to be as open as they can okay um, they're trying to stay in their bubble. They're trying to be as calm as possible. But they feel like the other person has to be willing to listen, okay? This is not going to work if the person is um, constantly ignoring the other person's feelings or how they feel, okay? Okay. Okay, let's do... Oh, yeah. Taurus and Gemini. Two cards for Taurus and Gemini. Two cards for Taurus. Damn. <laughs> Physical body in reverse, okay. Taurus and Gemini. This is Gemini. Um, what? Triology of lights in reverse. Okay, so. Ooh. Who did I say Taurus and Gemini? So, basically, hold on. With Taurus with the physical body here in reverse. Um, like I said, you feel like this. Well, I said this before, Taurus. Um... You probably don't want to be touched right now, or you feel like this particular person like don't they're know not how. getting it right as far as your the physical goes, as far as your body goes. You feel like they're not getting it right, or you complete you could possibly be completely turned off um, by this particular person. Now, when we do the tri triology of yeah, like Taurus and Gemini, you don't want this person to touch you. You could be completely turned off by this particular person. You want them to be more creative because with the light of triology um, in reverse here. They're not in tune with their creative side, and that's a turn off to you. You feel like, okay, like, it's more than just, you know, hitting it and go. They have to be more creative with you and your body. Okay. Okay. Um, what are we doing? Taurus and Cancer. What well, that is? Taurus and Cancer. We need two cards. Let me get the two from the top, baby. Who? Oh, Taurus and Cancer. Ooh, inner child in reverse. Okay, Taurus. Cancer has dreams. Hmm. So, it seems with you, Taurus, you feel like you didn't even have the time to enjoy life. You don't have the time to play, so to speak, okay? But you want to be more in tune with your inner child. You want to bring that out of you because maybe there's some place that you were in the past where there was some sense of innocence and you missed that. And then the cancer that you're dealing with with dreams, okay? They could possibly be going through a phase of having a lot of dreams about you. Or they, it could be someone that you're dealing with who's having dreams about you. They probably told you. And it could have made them kind of second guess some things. Um, but yeah, it seems as if you'll want to get more in touch with your inner child. And the cancer, they're dreaming a lot. Okay? When it comes to you, they're either daydreaming about you a lot. Or like literally sleeping at night and dreaming about you. While you are more concerned of trying to enjoy life okay i wonder why you're on their mind so much um taurus come on with this okay but yeah taurus and um leo oh let's do the three so you and your person overall taurus leo hmm you and your person overall so you have the meditation card for Taurus, the love card for Leo, and you have the celebration overall, okay? So it seems like you guys are more at peace. You're more in tune with your body, with your soul, okay? You're very calm. You're learning to 
think twice. You're probably some of you are into like yoga or meditating. Um, if you have the love card here, you guys are it's like this is bringing you guys closer together. Maybe you're going through this journey together, okay? Which is causing you to like really feel good. You guys are celebrating the, the fact that you're leaving this this toxic place, okay? That's really good, Chad. Um, Taurus and Virgo. Two cards for Taurus and Virgo. Two cards for Taurus. Got inner child. Virgo has celebration. So, Taurus, you have inner child and Virgo with celebration. Uh, what the hell? Wait a minute. Hey, I'm just going to go with it. So, yeah, it seems to me that you guys are having a lot of fun. Um, you guys are enjoying things. A lot of you are probably doing childlike activities. It could be like arcades you're going to or just simply like laughing a lot, having fun or reminiscing on the childhood. But you guys are just in a moment of celebrating the fact that you are having a good old, good old time. And it could also be a sense of you guys starting over that you're pretty much excited about taurus and libra right yeah taurus and libra how do you two feel about one another taurus has birth in reverse libra hmm. that's interesting okay libra has dreams divine guidance in reverse for the overall energy um some of you have, are probably dealing with the loss of a child or it could be a sense of it could be a literal thing with, with children it could be also that you guys feel like you lost your sense of self okay and you you're willing to start over you feel like you don't like where you're going so you want to start over um and with the libra that you're dealing with it seems as if they some of them dream about children some of them want children with you um some of you feel, some of them feel like you're the dream person okay so try not to be so hard on yourself i don't feel like this libra is hard on you at all and then you have divine guidance here in reverse you guys just need more guidance i feel like you guys have a lot of hmm a lot of past issues or past trauma that you have gone through in the past okay i hope you guys um, you know, I hope that gets better between you two. Taurus and Scorpio. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Scorpio. Okay. Hmm. Taurus, you have creativity. Creativity. Scorpio has heaven on earth in reverse. Okay. So, Taurus, you want more creativity. You want more for your particular Scorpio or you're just willing to be done because it seems as if this, this person who you thought was the one who you thought was heaven sent, you feel like that's not it because they're not being creative. They're not putting in as much effort as you would like them to, okay? Um, Taurus and Sagittarius. Taurus and Sagittarius. Let me shuffle it some more. Taurus and Sagittarius. Okay ring starting to irk me man Taurus Ooh. these are some beautiful cards y'all Taurus you have a goddess Sagittarius you have transients that you know mm. child some of y'all are <laughs> who is this Taurus and Sagittarius somebody is feeling themselves a lot okay you have the goddess card here which is so pretty and then you have the transients card here so there are some type of it you <laughs> Taurus, I don't know if this is you or Sag. Um there's one of you feel as if you're going through this transition. Um a lot of lessons have been coming towards you or you've been viewing things a lot differently. And look at this card here with the transient card for Sagittarius. It's like you're well you're willing to accept the change. You're willing to accept the transform. I don't know if this person who you're dealing with um feels like you change them or you you they tell you that you change that you change their life or vice versa you feel like they change your life but somebody is feeling good about themselves and they are ready for that change they feel like it's more blossoming blossoming like someone feels like they're blossoming into something new and greater okay um Taurus and Capricorn Ooh, that was nice Taurus and Cap Taurus and Cap Taurus and Cap overall energy 
Taurus has celebration. Capricorn has Earth connection in reverse. Okay. Hold on, because that's loud. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but um, my kids had the TV up loud as hell. Okay, Earth. What? Earth connection in reverse. Mm, okay. And then physical body. So it seems as if um, Taurus and Capricorn, while Taurus is in the mood of celebrating themselves, I feel like Capricorn is still more so of getting in tune with themselves and the natural way of things. Part of me feels like um, one of you um, are, is, is thinking about being more natural. doesn't matter what color you are. You could be black, brown, white, whatever the case may be. Um, some of you are thinking about going natural, meaning there might be some of you who wants to wear um, less makeup, whatever the case may be. And it's a celebration. It's like you want to be more, more of your authentic self with this person. Um, you're in tune with your mind, body, and soul. Okay? Okay. So, okay. Let's see what that is. We're on Taurus and Aquarius. Let's do it again, shall Because no. <laughs> Taurus and Aquarius. Okay. Taurus and Aquarius. Taurus. Aquarius. So, Taurus, you have retreat here. And Aquarius has forgiveness. You guys are just more at peace. There's someone who you're dealing with who you are, you feel good about not about it not being that much conflict if there is a lot of conflict between you two right now it's going to die down okay i'm noticing the stars in this particular cards here okay see it you guys are being more at peace you guys are enjoying enjoying the beauty and things you don't want to continue to take for granted of your surroundings sometimes we're so used to arguing with a particular person that we forget about the things that are around us so i feel like you guys are going to be settling your arguments and conflict really soon if you are doing that okay uh taurus and pisces how do you two feel about one another taurus um pisces oh damn what the hell is that about Ciao, Taurus and Pisces, what are y'all on? I didn't ask for all this. <laughs> um, relationship in reverse, okay? Uh, I feel like you guys do not want a relationship with each other, but you have enchantment, so there's hope for that, okay? Um, golden memories, oh, in reverse. So, the reason why you guys don't want to get back with uh, Pisces or Pisces don't want to get back with you is because of the memories. You're a reminder of something, okay? Ex Expe expectancy i'm sorry expect expectancy in reverse um yeah tantric union so it seems as if you guys it's it's more you guys might be getting along getting along a lot right now so but at the same time you don't want to take it seriously or you don't want to get into a particular relationship with this particular uh person because it reminds you of the past okay um but at the same time, you want, I feel like you guys are still going to dibble and dabble in between, well, <laughs> dibble and dabble in between, child. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be doing a lot of dibbling and dabbling in between. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying, okay? Um, <laughs> That was funny. Uh, Hold on, man. I'm steady touching these cards over here. Get out the way. Taurus and uh, la, 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 la. what I'm doing, y'all. Oh, Aries, which is the last one. Look at this. Don't belong over here. Taurus and Aries. How do you two feel about one another? Heaven on earth. Oh, my goodness. You guys feel like this person is heaven sent, okay? Pretty much self-explanatory. Um, reflect. They are a reflection of you. You are a reflection of them. You guys mirror each other. That's why you have so much in common, Taurus and Aries. Um, you feel like this is the one for those of you where well, this is new. You feel like this is the one, okay? So you're excited about it. But that's what I have for you guys. Um, why is my phone look? Y'all ain't said nothing. That's what I have for you guys. Um, Taurus and hold on, y'all can't even see me. Okay. Um, but that's what I have for you guys. That's what I have for you guys, Taurus. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular reading. Don't forget to like the video video the video like the video comment down below um don't forget to check out the description box for goodies and details for my instagram 
all of that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one okay bye i miss y'all i'm in a place serene and pure and free